plenty of videos already exist that explain the basics of driving a single digit seven segment display with the Arduino, but the vast majority of them don't make use of any support chips, instead relying on the use of a large number of the Arduino's I.O. pins to individually control each of the display's seven segments. Not only does this tie up a significant portion of the Arduino's I.O. real estate, it also relies on a software lookup table to form each numeric digit. Now, other solutions exist that utilize the 74HC595 8-bit shift register, often called a latch, to re reduce the number of pins needed to drive the display, but it still requires a lookup table to form the digits. When you start talking about driving a four-digit display using these methods, things get even more complicated. Although it is possible to drive a four-digit display using only the Arduino and four NPN transistors, it certainly doesn't leave many I.O. pins available for anything else. Now, driving a four-digit display can also be accomplished using two daisy-chained 74HC595 latches and four transistors which will reduce the number of I.O. pins used, but a software lookup table is still going to be required to form the digits in both of these scenarios. The project outlined in this video allows a four-digit display to be driven using only two support chips, four NPN transistors, and three I.O. pins, and thanks to the logic table that's built into the 7448 BCD to seven-segment decoder driver, the need for a software lookup table is completely eliminated, greatly simplifying the code needed to make it all work. <laughs> First, let's talk about the output device, the four-digit, seven-segment display. The display used in this project is a common cathode, meaning that each of the seven segments, or anodes, that form one digit are connected to a common ground, a cathode. Since there's four digits, there's four cathodes, one for each digit. Now, the NPN transistors serve as a means of individually selecting which of the four common cathodes is connected to the ground. With the emitter connected to ground, voltage applied to the base connects the collector and the common cathode from the digit it's connected to, to ground. Next up is the 7448BCD to 7 segment decoder driver. Now this magic little chip takes four 1, 2, 4, 8 positive logic binary coded decimal inputs, basically four bits, and converts them to the proper pattern necessary to eliminate a seven segment display. All the necessary logic is hardware encoded on the chip itself, binary in, seven segment out. The 74HC595 8 bit shift register, or latch, it serves a dual purpose in this design. Four of the eight registers are used to provide input to the 7448 for output to the display, and the other four are used for output in conjunction with the four NPN transistors, used to select which of the four display digits the seven segment output from the 7448 gets fed to. Now here's a diagram of the project with the connections color coded by purpose try to make it simpler to understand what's actually going on. Now basically the Arduino program sends a byte of data, 8 bits, to the 74HC595 latch. Now only four digits are necessary to display the numbers 0 through 9, so the first four bits uh, are connected to the four inputs on the 7448 BCD to seven segment display, which translates those to the number zero through nine, and sends the output to the seven segments for illumination. Now the blue wires coming out of the display are each of the four common cathodes, one for each of the digits, which are connected to these NPN transistors, the other side of which are connected to the other four bits of the latch. So the first four bits of the byte are the digit to be displayed, 
the second four bits of the byte are used to control which digit of the display is illuminated or which of the four digits the number to be displayed is going to be displayed on. Now before I get into the code I do want to say that uh, if what I've been talking about up to this point about sending data to the latch or serial data to the latch is uh, something that's kind of going over your head I really would recommend taking the time to look at uh, Adafruit's excellent tutorial on using the latch uh, the link of which you'll see in the uh, description below now because of the use of the 7448 BCD to 7 segment decoder the code is actually ridiculously simple we define the pins necessary to communicate or to transmit the byte of data to the latch I define an array to hold each of the four digits to be displayed uh, this secondary index array is the uh, necessary binary offset to control each of the four uh, NPN transistors 2 to the 4th power, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th, and 2 to the 7th. Uh, we define the pins to be used. The first thing the program does is call the actual subroutine that displays the data. Since 0000, zero, zero, zero is already in there, it jumps down to this subroutine and loops through each of the four digits. Now it takes the value to be displayed, which is currently zero, and then adds the index relative to the loop position for, or the digit to be displayed. So in the first case it's going to be index sub zero, which is 16, which is the fifth of the eight bits. It turns that one on. So we'll illuminate this digit. Sends the data to the latch, delays five milliseconds and sends it again. That gives it an actual chance to be to be seen uh, before it loops back up to the top. So it sends it twice and then it returns back up here to the loop, increments the counter, and all this little four line function does is take the four digit counter and uh, cut it up and assign each digit of the counter to an element of the display array and then loops back up to the top sends it back down here to the update shift registers the 0000 has now become 0001 so the value of J uh, of that first digit is now a 1 and it's gonna start with the 16 so it's gonna set it to a binary 17 which would be uh, from least significant to most significant bit 1 0 0 0 that's the four uh, bits necessary to display the one then the next bit over is set to 1 so it's going to turn on this first or set the ground of this first element uh, it's going to connect to the ground and allow it to be displayed then it jumps to the second one that offset or that index changes to 32 instead of 16 so it then sends the zero to this then the offset jumps to the third one and the fourth one and it displays 0, 0, 0, 0001 then it will loop back up to counter which will change to 0, 0, 002 0, 0, 0, 002 this will now be uh, a 2 plus each one of the indexes and it just perpetually loops and that's really all there is to the code it's uh, extremely elegant and simple well hopefully this video has demonstrated how handy the 7448 BCD to 7 segment uh, converter chip can be and I hope that uh, you find some value in the video and are able to use the uh, chip in perhaps some uh, designs of your own I do encourage you to uh, 
like this video if you found it of value and dislike it if you didn't and of course subscribe and there's also some included bonus footage here of a uh, eight digit display that I built so enjoy and until next time goodbye mm -hmm.